how are you so there is another question and the question says that two objects of mass m each are connected by a weightless rod of length d a force f is applied each of the objects at right angle to the rod as shown so there is a rod of length d two masses m and both are acted upon force f what is the torque acting on the system about the midpoint of the rod so they are rotating about this center so this is d by 2 and this is also d by 2 so what is the torque acting on the midpoint of the rod so the torque acting on the rod is there what is the angular acceleration we have to find so torque also we have to find and acceleration we have to find so let's see in this question you know that torque is force into radius so radius is d by 2 so force into d by 2 and we will also add because this is in the anti clockwise this is also anti clockwise both will add upon each other so f into d by 2 so it will become ft okay so torque is fd we have calculated so we have two options fd ft so now we have to calculate the angular acceleration so just remember in transitional motion there is a formula f equals to ma so in rotational motion we use that torque is equals to ia and alpha, alpha is there okay angular acceleration this is the angular acceleration that we have to find in this question so this torque is fd fd equals to and the i i is you know the i that is inertia for the point object is m r square so m is the mass and d by 2 is the radius and this will be and the square of the radius so i have put it square is the d and the 2 so there is two objects so we will multiply this with 2 into the acceleration that is the angular acceleration so i will just write in a neat and clean manner that is fd equals to md square upon 4 into 2 into alpha this alpha we have to find out so with d d goes off this 4 with this is 2 so 2 f divided by m t equals to alpha so here the option is a a option would be the right answer so the catch in this question is this two this this is the catch everyone knows the formula of i m r square but we forget to multiply with two because there are two masses one and two like if you don't multiply with two it will be considering only one body okay so if there are two bodies we have to multiply it with the two or we can say that we are adding the both the inertias because like in these questions you must have studied like if this is one this is two and these both are rotating like this so i1 plus i2 will be like this so the inertia will be added so like so in this question we have to multiply it with the two and then we have to go for the further calculation now we will see the mark scheme whether the, our answer is right or wrong it's a is the right answer so thank you for watching this video if you have some doubts just put it into the comment section thank you for watching